Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a review of the Naked Heat Palette. So yeah, I'm going to, I already used it um, four times already. So I'm going to let you guys know what I think about the palette, um, who is it best for and who is it not best for. So yeah, if you guys want to see my little review on the palette, then just keep on watching. Okay babes, so this is what the packaging looks like on it. The box is really cute, and on the back it has all the ingredients. Um, it comes with um, a makeup brush. So yeah, I got mine at Ulta, and um, I had a coupon for 20% off, so I got some a few bucks off the palette. Um, so this is what the palette looks like. Um, I love the packaging. It's super cute, super sleek. It's like a hard plastic. So it's pretty neat. And then you open it inside. And then those are the shades. And they're all warm tone. So if you love warm tones, this will be your palette. And this is the brush it comes with. Let me take it out. Let me take it. It's the brush it comes with. Um, to be honest, I love the brush. Um, I already use it like in two, three looks. I use it today for my look um, on my eyes today. And I love the brush. It blends out really nice. It's soft. Um, over here, the crease brush is a more stiffer, stiff and pointy, so you can get like a precise crease in there. Like you can get the color precisely in your crease. And right here is like a fluffy um, brush where you can pack on the color on your lid. And I like it. I really love the brush. Usually I don't like brushes that come with palettes because they aren't that good. But this one is really good quality. So I like that. And um, it retails for $54. So that's that. I also got, um, let me see, what is this called? The Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil. I wanted to try it out with the palette. And of course I got Alkaline because I don't have anything like this. And I don't know, it seems really cool. It's like a dark kind of red color. Don't mind of all the swatches on my hand, but that's what it looks like. And it glides on creamy, this eye pencil. But uh, I kind of, throughout the day it fades away. So it's not really my favorite eye pencil. It's still nice. Um, if you want, you can just use the pencil, not in your waterline, but a little bit underneath right here, and like draw it on there and then smudge it out, and it'll look really pretty too. I haven't done that yet, but I have only used it in my waterline, and um, I find that it um, throughout the day it disappears, so I kind of don't like that. So the pencil is okay. So yeah, let's talk about the palette now. Okay, so let's talk about the pros first. First, the pros is um that it blends beautiful like this palette i don't i didn't have any problems with it blending and it blended just fine for me the pigmentation is on point um how you see the colors in the pan that's exactly the colors that you get like they don't oxidize on my i have no i haven't noticed that they oxidize at all um so yeah the blending and the pigmentation is very beautiful also, if you're like a big um, Naked Heat fan, Naked Heat, if you're a big fan of the Naked palettes, because you know they have the original and the Naked, the first, the number one, number two, I think they have like a smoked Naked. Uh, this one is the Naked Heat one. I mean, if you're a big fan of their palettes and you love them no matter what, then this might be for you too. You know, if you like to collect them, that's good too. Um, and also, if you are a big lover of warm tones, this will be perfect for you because basically it's an all warm tone palette. I mean, it has it has some neutrals right here in the beginning. Uh, let me see. These ones right here. But, you know, they're not too crazy. You know, there's like um ounce, the really like lightest one in here. It's kind of like a satin finish. Um, that one's kind of like a little bit off-white, the color. And the other ones are kind of like a nice neutral brown. Other than that, everything else in this palette is warm tone. So if you love warm tones and you know you think that um, 
no like like for me i think the more warm tone palettes you have the better because for me each and every palette is different and the colors in here are very beautiful and yeah i wanted it because i love warm tones too so that's another pro for people who love warm tones now let's go with the cons so here are some of the cons for the palette if you don't like warm tones this is not the palette for you because the whole palette all it has is warm tones like reds and browns but the browns have a little bit more red in them so you can get a neutral look out of this palette but more than likely you're gonna you're gonna get a warm tone look so if you're more into the cooler tones or neutral colors um this probably is not going to be the palette for you because basically all the colors in here are all warm tone Another con um, that could be for some people is that some of the colors may look similar in the pan. After you shade them out, they could look like they're similar, but they do have a slight difference to them. Um, for example, He Devil and Kanye, these two kind of do look like they could be similar, but they just have a little slight different tones to them. So if that bugs you, if you think that a lot of the colors look too similar to each other, and then this palette might not be for you. Another one, another con that I think is, obviously it is compact, it could be travel friendly, but let's say you go like for a week in Jamaica, or I don't know, somewhere, Europe, Paris, and you just take only this palette with you, I don't think that this palette will be enough to take with you. For example, if you love warm tones and all you wanna wear is warm tones every day all the time, then yeah, probably is travel friendly for you. But if you want to create like different looks um, on your vacation, like a warm tone, a cool tone, a colorful look, uh, you're not going to get it with this. You're only going to get warm tones with this. So that's something to think about. So if you do not like that, then this might not be the palette for you either. Another con for this is the price. It's $54 for 12 shades. Um, I can't remember how many ounces is in here, but I will put it down below um, how many ounces pa this palette has. But yes, it's $54 for 12 shades. Um, that could be really pricey for some people and, you know, not affordable. Um, there's so many dope options for this um, that are way cheaper. So um, the price could be a con for some people. And I know there's dopes out there or if you already have warm tones in your collection, you probably don't need this palette. So this is my final thought for the palette. Me, personally, I love the palette. I feel like it blended out very beautiful. And while some of the shades do look a little bit similar, I have some pictures on my Instagram that I will insert. Um, you can still see a slight difference in the shades. Even though they look similar um, in the picture, some of them are more bronzed, some of them are more um, reddish. So for me, I did love the palette. I loved how it blended. It blended so beautiful. And um, I had a coupon. I, I went to Ulta and I used my 20% off the palette. So it wasn't too bad. I can't remember how much it was in total. But I mean, go in the store, swatch it on your hands. Obviously swatching is not as putting it on your eyes, but I'll tell you right now, it blends very beautiful. Um, and it swatches nice. With the shimmer shades, I like to always use Fix Plus. So I put it on and then I put some more Fix Plus on and I put it on top because I love my shimmer shades to pop. Um, so yeah, I did the eye look today, um, another eye look with it today. And this was just like a simple eye look. So let me tell you what I used in my eyes today. And um, let me see. Okay, so in my crease, I used Sauced, which is this color right here. It's more like of a brown kind of color. Focus, focus. Okay, doesn't want to focus. And then I used Heat Devil. That one right there. So those are the colors I used in my crease. Okay? I put um, sauce first and just blew it out in my crease and a little bit above my crease. And then I used Heat Devil precisely in my crease. And then for my shimmer, I used Lumber. This one right here. And that's the one I used. Let's not focus. And lumber, that's what I used for my lid shade. And then I put ounced the lightest color right here. 
I put that one up in my brow bone. And in my inner corner, I just used the same highlighter I was using on my cheeks and my nose, which is the Wet n Wild one, which I love. And so, yeah. Those are the colors I used out of the palette today on my eye look, so you guys can see how it performs. I'm going to zoom you in right now so you can see how it looks like. And this is the eye look I created. I didn't put fake lashes on today. Also, I forgot to tell ya, for my lower lash line, I used a color, a dark color. I used En Fuego. So I used that one down here just to give it a more pop of color. So yeah, that's the eyelid, guys. So thank you everybody for watching. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you're at. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below so you can be a part of the fan bam. And click the little bell button on the top somewhere so you can get notifications when I upload my next video. Thank you so much you guys for the love and support and I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.